With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's solve the question. The question says, a copper wire having resistance 0 0.01 ohm in each meter is used to wind a 400 tons solenoid of radius 1 cm and length of 20 cm. Find the EMF of a battery which when connected across the solenoid will cause a magnetic field of 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 tesla near the center of the solenoid. So what is given to us that there are number of turns, total number of turns are 400. There are 400 turns in 20 centimeter length of a solenoid. So we can write it as 20 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. So now we want to find out the number density which is number per unit length of the solenoid which is represented by small n and it will give us capital N divided by L. So it will give us 400 divided by 20 into 10 raised to minus 2. So it will give us number density which is the number of turns per unit length, per unit meter length. Now what we are given, we are given resistance of the wire in each meter. So we can find out the net resistance of the wire. So net resistance of the wire will be So what is given to us? We are given resistance value for each meter. So we have to find out the, so we have to multiply it with 2 pi r multiplied by 400 because there is one turn length which is the circumference of the solenoid which is 2 pi r. So we will write 0 0.01 ohm multiplied by what is the circumference which is 2 pi r where r is the radius and we have 400 such circles. So after putting values in this we will get our net resistance of the wire. So what is the value of radius of the circle? It is 0 0.1 centim 1 centimeter. We can write it as 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters multiplied by 400 ohm. So it will give us net resistance. Now we can easily find out the current flowing in the solenoid. So current flowing in the solenoid can be given by E divided by net resistance where E is the voltage supplied by the battery. So we can write, we need to find out the voltage supplied by the battery. So we can write it as E divided by R net value. What is the R net value? It is 0 0.01 multiplied by 2 pi multiplied by R which is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter multiplied by 400. So this will be the current flowing in the solenoid because there is current flowing in the solenoid so there will be magnetic field, magnetic field generated in the solenoid. So this magnetic field is given by mu naught n i where i is the current flowing in the solenoid, n is the number density which we have just calculated earlier and magnetic field is given to us. So what is the strength of magnetic field? Magnetic field strength is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 tesla. So here we can put the values. We will put 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 tesla is equal to what is the value of mu naught? We can write it as 4 pi multiplied by 10 raised to minus 7 multiplied by what is the number density value? It is 400 divided by 400 divided by 20 into 10 raised to minus 2 multiplied by i which is the current which we have calculated here. So we will write E divided by 0 0.1, 0 0.01 multiplied by 2 pi multiplied by 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 400. So after solving this we will get our final value of voltage of the battery. So voltage of the battery will be 1 volt. So if we apply 1 volt battery across the solenoid then it will generate 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 tesla magnetic field. So this will be our final answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.